Okay, let's talk about the brushes. If you, in a stroke click, you can see this is a brush window. For using them, you can assign them to, for example, a stroke of any shape. For example, this shape, you can assign it to the dead. Nice. For assigning to the dead, first you have to select the shape. Tells you, okay, I want to work in this shape stroke. And then in a style, select brush. And you can simply assign any kind of the brush to that. The brush presets are here and you can assign the brush <clears throat> to your stroke. For example, the heart. The brushes that are in three dots, it means if you click on them, it randomly change the brush style. Simple. Um, align brush with the curve. And as you can see, it's uh, align the brush curve to the direction of the curve. You can align it. Or you can brush jitter angle. You can change the randomly the angle of the uh, brush pieces here or brush angle drift. You can uh, uniformly change the that. Or if you want, you can change the angle. As you can see, change the angle uh, randomly or you can align the brush and do it. This is brush angle drift. You can set it to the zero if you want. It's randomly changing the brush. Brush spacing. You can change the brush spacing if you want. You can see the more preview here. Minimize frame to frame randomness. It means uh, if you always check that. If you working animation by frame by frame, you can use this. Merge also if the uh, the brushes has alpha it's merging to each other uh tint brush using the stroke color it means you can use the stroke color override that but we want to exactly the brush uh, objects and that's it here you can save your brush you can save your brush to custom content folder that if you install the software it asks you which folder do you want to save your content or choose another folder if you want and it's okay this is our brush you can also assign the brush to something like this before using that you have to make a stroke to that and as you can see your brush assigned to that you can select the shape and then don't forget to select the shape and assign a different stroke to that or a stroke or something like this uh, <clears throat> or you can uh, use a free hand you can use a free hand to create these strokes nice okay you can simply use a free hand or after that you can uh, create a line and reshape it okay with a free hand you can use that stroke if you want you can change the reads higher reads and boom more strokes that you want you can create or the simple brush size like this okay okay holding alt to bring the stroke you can use a simple brush as you wish nice hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release